Harpsichords and virginals have varying numbers of octaves. The oldest uh, instruments have fewer octaves, and the more recently constructed ones have more octaves. Each key raises one jack to pluck one string. Tuning pins are screwed into the rest plank above the keyboard. One pin is for one key. This instrument has only one string for each key, pin, and jack. Harpsichords should have two strings of the same length and thickness for each key with two jacks and two pins. So there would be one key, but there would be two jacks and two tuning pins. I believe my reason for making this instrument is that it is uh, early enough in the development of harpsichords to demonstrate the ancient theory of the relation between string length and pitch. An octave should sound when a string twice the length of another is played with it simultaneously. This, uh, this keyboard, as you can see, with this harpsichord, as you can see, has strings of varying length, extremely long in the bass on the left and extremely sh small uh, in the treble end, so small that there's almost nothing there. But interestingly, it's that little wee note with a little wee string actually sounds. It's a high C. On a piano, you can't hear much of the actual pitch. You can hear mostly the sound of the clicking wood.